So I'm going to show you a little trick um, using a YubiKey to install Windows 8.1. Now as you know the keys for whatever reason for Windows 8 can't be used to install Windows 8.1 even though it's a free update to Windows 8 it makes no sense but to install 8.1 um, one way to do it is to use three sets of generic keys that I think everybody uses by now. You enter, um, depending on which version of Windows you, you want to install, there's a Core, Pro, and Enterprise. Uh, the two, the one that you normally always use is the Core, that's if Windows came pre-installed on some generic OEM computer, that's the Core. Or the Pro, which I guess if you were to go buy it and wanted to reinstall uh, 8.1 fresh, having bought 8. So those are the two keys that you generally use, mainly core. Um, and so what I've usually found myself doing is when I go to install Windows, like right here, install now, it always wants the key, so I can go dig out my sheet or print it off and then type it in. But I had a YubiKey laying around, and the YubiKey for $15 has two banks um, that can be used for text in each, upwards of 35 characters each. So using the YubiKey configuration or personalization tool, you can actually cannibalize your YubiKey. And by cannibalize, I mean make it stop functioning as its main purpose of authentication, and you just use both banks as text. Like one press is one bank, uh, one long press is the second bank. So in this case, I thought, well, let's just go ahead and put the core keys on one bank and the pro keys on the second bank. So here we go. We're at the login screen or the key for the screen. Um, product key. Let me go make sure you can see it. Yep. And so if I press once on the YubiKey, oops, so there we go. Ta da! There's the core key. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and cancel the installation again. And I'm going to go ahead and reinstall or restart the install this time. I'm going to long press and you will see it will crap out a completely different key. There you go. That's Pro. So, you know, you can always put this in your pocket. So if you had a friend's house trying to reinstall 8.1 on a system that usually had 8. So the way you would do that is you would enter one of these generic codes just to get it past the install screen. Once you get it into actual Windows, you would then use a tool to find your original Windows 8 key from the BIOS and then activate it why it won't accept it during install is one of the very many questions of Windows 8 altogether. I, yeah, it's kind of a pain in the ass, but this works just, just as well. So there you go, little trick. Thanks.